Here's your buzz in key. Let's get this show on the road. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy! Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trevett. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everybody. Have fun, and good luck to all of you. Thank you, Alex, and hello, folks. It's now time for game 20 of my run of 2003 Jeopardy PC. You do the math. Okay. Celebrity odd jobs. My current total is $1,264,000. Things I wish I'd said. The eyes have it. And completing the board, our category is... Groovy time. All right, let's get things underway, player one. Well, let's get this one out of the way first. You do the math for 200. The number of items in a dozen times the number of months in a year. Player one. What is 144? 12 times 12. Exactly. Math 400. The number of legs on a spider plus the number of legs on a fly. Player one. What is uh, 14? Yes. Eight and six. You do the math 600. The number of sides on an octagon minus the number of sides on a hexagon. Player one. What is... 4. Oh, regret No. No. Player three. What is two? Eggs. Oh, yeah. Eight minus six. I just remember now. I'd like the eyes have it for 200. A Babylonian goddess of love and fertility. Or a movie bomb for Warren Beatty and Dustin Hoffman. Player one. Uh... Ishtar. What is Ishtar? Whew! Yes. Got it just in time. Math 800. The number of days in a week times the number of ancient wonders of the world. Player three. Ah! What is 49? Yep, seven times exactly. seven. Exactly. You do the math. For a thousand? The number of events in a decathlon divided by the number of years in a decade. Player one. What is one? Hey, you're correct. There we go. Eyes have it 400. It'll get your motor running. Your car's motor, that is. Player one. What is the ignition? Exactly. I 600. This legal term describes a person who leaves no will at the time of death. Player one. What is intestate? Hey, you're correct. Eyes 800. Pressing your hands palm to palm is an example of this form of exercise in which there's no movement. Player one. What is isometric? Precisely. Like again. Again, the clue history site is a very useful tool. Eyes 1000. In a proverb, it's no excuse for breaking the law. Player one. What is ignorance? Hey, you're correct. All right. Uh, things I wish I'd said, 200. In 1983, he said, we at Chrysler borrow money the old-fashioned way. We pay it back. Player one. Who is Lee Iacocca? Exactly. Uh, things I wish I'd said, four. Attributed to Samuel Goldwyn. Any man who goes to one of these people ought to have his head examined. Player one. Who is a, what is a psychiatrist? Yes. Things, things I wish I'd said six. Touch a scientist and you touch a child, said this Martian Chronicles author. Player one. Who is Ray Bradbury? And as a matter of fact, Precisely. this is the... Same category that was used for Dan Melia's second game. 
Things I wish I said 800. John Buchan defined this kind of skeptic as a man who has no invisible means of support. Player one. What is an atheist? Definitely. Things I wish I said a thousand. P.G. Wodehouse defined it as the only one real cure for gray hair. It was invented by a Frenchman. Player one. What is the guillotine? Exactly. Yep. Uh, it's a big world, 200. Adopted in 1929, the flag of this independent city includes the keys to heaven. Player one. Oh gosh, uh... What is Mexico City? No. No. Nope. Too bad. Player three. What is Vatican City? Oh, okay. That's the spot exactly. It's a big world for 400. Each summer, Bridgeport, Connecticut holds a festival honoring this circus showman. Player one. Who is P.T. Barnum? Precisely. Pick again. Big World Six. This syndrome, named for a French physician, may involve barking and continuous cursing. Player one. What is Tourette's syndrome? Yes. All right. Big World 800. Found in Africa, the Kaffir, or Felis livica, may have been the first wild one of these animals domesticated. Oh. Player two, what is a cat? Oh, yeah. Precisely. I just thought of it Did after looking at Felis, and it didn't How hit me in time. celebrity odd jobs for 200 His early career was so rocky, he had to sweep out the lion cages at the Central Park Zoo. Player one. Who is Sylvester Stallone? Definitely. Yep. And again, Clue History site is a useful tool. Celebrity Odd Jobs 400. The fabulous Baker Boys might know she was a supermarket checker before she became a superstar. Player one. Who is Michelle Pfeiffer? Precisely. Yep. Pick again. Odd job six. The perfect comic foil, this actor who played young Frankenstein was once a fencing instructor. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. Who is Gene Wilder? Definitely. Odd jobs 800. This late comedian with the first name Sam was once a Pentecostal preacher. Player one. Who is Sam Kinison? Precisely. Yep. Pick again. Celebrity Odd Jobs 1000. He used to be a cab driver in London. Now he's Bond. James Bond. Player one. Who is Pierce Brosnan? Yes. It's a big world of 1000. Major tributaries of this beautiful blue river include the Inn of Austria and Germany and the Tisa of Hungary. Is that it? Anyone? No. This is the correct The question. Danube. Okay. Uh, Groovy Times 200. To accessorize granny dresses, chicks wore these necklaces of little balls for peace and goodwill. Player one. What are love beads? Hey, you're correct. Uh, Groovy Times 400. In a famous 60s slogan, it came between turn on and drop out. Player one. What is tune in? Precisely. Mm hmm. Pick again. Groovy Times 6. Bought a black light for my posters, man, and one of these ooze lights for my mantle. Player one. What's a lava lamp? Hey, you're correct. 800. Answer? Yeah! The Daily Double.
Got the Clue History site up, which is a useful tool. I'm going to bet it all. $12,000. In 67, we did a psychedelic paint job on our bus from this German company and headed off to Frisco. Player one. What is Volkswagen? Volkswagen. Ooh. No? Sorry. This is what we wanted. That's what I put. To wrap up this board. Unbelievable. Born Leslie Hornby, the woman seen here, modeled under this name. Player one. Sticks out in our minds. What is Twiggy? Oh, well. Exactly. So, I got 1000 back. I could have had 24000 okay, Could have had 25000 but unfortunately, I think this thing glitched on me. Player three, you're in the lead. That's all right. Player one, you're still in contention. Player two, you're in last place, but you do get to start things off first in double jeopardy. I'll have to check what Ladies happened. And gentlemen, it's now time for because I'm very jeopardy. certain I spelled it right. Here are the categories for the double jeopardy round. Name that classic tune. Celebs. Playing politics. Women and song. Literature. And let's take a look at our final category. Athletes. Still, that was pretty cheap of this game to do that. Athletes. For 400. In 1989, his first year as the Dallas Cowboys quarterback, the team went 1 and 15. They later improved. Player one. Who is Troy Aikman? Definitely. Athletes 800. At age 11, in 1972, he scored 378 goals for an Ontario Canada ice hockey team. Player one. Who is Wayne Gretzky? That's okay, though. I can build it up again. Precisely. Pick again. Athletes 1,200. The last Major League Baseball player to hit 400 in a season. He was John Glenn's wingman in the Korean War. Player one. Who is Ted Williams? Yes. Athlete 16. It was Muhammad Ali's original name. Player one. What is Cassius Clay? Precisely. Pick again. Athlete 2000. One of the two Olympic swimming champions who played Tarzan on film in the 1930s. Player two? Uh. Who is Larry Buster Crab? Yep. Yes. The other one was Johnny Weissmuller. Okay. Literature for 400. The AP received this Tom Sawyer author's 1897 telegram saying, The report of my death was an exaggeration. Player three. Who was Mark Twain? Precisely. Hmm. Pick again. Literature for 800. The title of the epic Omeros by Caribbean-born Derek Walcott is the Greek name of this poet. Player two. Who is Homer? Oh. Definitely. Literature for 1,200. Before he was famous, he drove around with a license plate that read GARP. Player two? Who is John Updike? Oh, uh, no, nope, no, nope, not John Updike. Player three? Who is John Irving? Precisely. Hmm. Pick again. Literature for 1600. Despite help from Engels, this communist manifesto author and his family often subsisted on bread and potatoes. Player one? Who is Karl Marx? He's the one we were looking for. Yes. Yeah. Lurcher 2000. This boxer titled his 1975 autobiography, The Greatest. Player one. Who is Muhammad Ali? Precisely. Yep. We just had a clue about him a little while ago. Uh, name that classic tune, 400. 1943's Der Führer's Face, starring this Disney quack-up, won an Oscar. Player one. Who is Donald Duck? 
definitely. Classic tune 800. Until his death in 1959, author Q. Bryan was the voice of this wabbit hunter. Player one. Who is Elmer Fudd? Exactly. Uh, tune 1200. He starred in 1948 Symphony in Spinach. Player one. Who is Popeye? Definitely. Yep. Classic tune 1600. Answer? All right. The Daily Double. You can make your way with me. Well, I still think I got cheated out on the last one, but I'm going to try it again. All of it. He was the sidekick of the smarter than the average bear. Player one. Who is Boo Boo? Exactly. There we go. Back up to where I sh close to where I should have been, coming in a double jeopardy. Name that classic tune, 2000. 1948's Magpie Madness starred this Terry Tune pair. Anyone at all? Got nothing. What we were looking for. Heckle and this? Jekyll. All right. Uh, playing politics, 400. A former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development and Bob Dole's running mate in 1996. Player one. Who is Jack Kemp? Exactly. Yep. I'm not going to let that cheap daily double in the first round bother me. Politics eight. Harvey Gant, Charlotte's first black mayor, has twice lost to this man for a North Carolina Senate seat. Player two, ah. who is Jesse Helms? You beat me into there. He's the one we were looking for, yes. And again, the Clue History site is a very useful tool. Oh, celebs. For 400. Many drivers, Scott Wolf and Leanne Rimes, are among celebrities who confess to doing this in the shower. Player one. What is singing? Precisely. Like again. Politics 12. In 1956, this Tennessee senator lost a vote for nomination to be vice president. His son did better in 1992. Player one. Who is Albert Gore? Who is Al Gore Sr.? No. What? Dad. Player two. Who is Albert Gore? Yes. That should have rewarded me. That should have been Game right. Politics for 1600 This Pennsylvania senator and heir to a ketchup fortune died in a 1991 plane crash. Player one. Who is John Hines? Exactly. Politics 2000. This GOP candidate weakened the Democratic Party's hold on the South when he carried five southern states in 1964. Player one. Who is Barry Goldwater? He's the one we were looking for. Yes. Women in Song, 400. Her number one hits include Like a Prayer and Like a Virgin. Player one. Who is Madonna? Exactly. Women in Song, 8. In 1989, this Miami Sound Machine singer released her first solo album, Cuts Both Ways. Player three. Ugh! Who is Gloria Estefan? And that's what I was going to say. Definitely. Women in Song for 1,200. Answer? Ugh! The Daily Double. Did you make your way to the place? Betting it all. In 1987, this Queen of Soul became the first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Player three. Who is Aretha Franklin? Exactly. That's right. But it won't matter. For 1,600. Kurt Cobain's will, she co-starred in the movie The People vs. Larry Flint. Player one. Who is Courtney Love? Yes. Women in Song 2000. In 1997, this singer of You Were Meant For Me won the American Music Award for New Pop Rock Artist. Player one. Who is Jewel? I've heard that exactly. song many times. Celebs, 
2000. This flying circus's John Cleese and Michael Palin revived their dead parrot sketch on Saturday Night Live. Player three. What is Monty Python's flying circus? Hmm. Yes. Celebs for 800. This speed star was born in Lebanon to an English mother and a Chinese Hawaiian father. Player two. Oh, who is Keanu Reeves? Oh, yeah. Precisely. Pick again. Celebs for 1,200. On October 14, 1947, this Chuck flew a Bell X-1 aircraft 662 miles per hour. Player one. Who is Chuck Yeager? Yes. Uh huh. And, and the last one. This board. She's the first U.S. Secretary of State to be inducted into the Women's Hall of Fame. Player three. Who is Madeline Albright? Of course. Hey, you're correct. But it doesn't matter. That's the end of the double jeopardy. So I wasn't able to win as much as I was hoping to have won in the last well, couple games, winning 150,000. You're still in the thick of it. Player. But that's fine. A lot of that was because of that botched daily double in the first round. But that's okay. Time now for final jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Famous, Famous artists. Artists. Go ahead. Make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. Okay, 5,600. Here's the final I'm just, going to, I'm just going small. Good luck. Thank you. In a 15-minute long ceremony, his New York townhouse was designated a cultural landmark in 1998. I'm just gonna take a guess and say we're in war. Let's see how everyone. I'm probably did. wrong though. Player two. Jackson no Pollock. No. Nope. I'm sorry. What's that going to cost you? Fifty-two hundred. Your question, player three. Oh, sorry. Jackson Pollock also. No. Nope. How much did it cost you? Everything. Player one. Renoir. Your question. Oh, sorry. No. Nope. That's incorrect. So this is the first cost one you? I've missed. It cost me only 5600 It was Andy Warhol. But I still win with 24800 Congratulations to our big winner. Player one. 24800 Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Come back and see us again real soon, won't you? Bye, Alex. 24,800 was what I won. So that's 1,288,800. Oh, well, that's so that is going to do. But I probably could have won a little bit more if I had kind of known that one. But And if I didn't get... Uh, screwed out of that daily double in the first round which ruled me incorrect when I thought I was clearly right but still I was able to put this game away thanks to another true daily double unfortunately I got the third one taken away from me but that's fine I still won that's the main thing so thanks for watching and remember and remember everyone, subscribe if you want to see more of these Jeopardy 2003 PC games. And we'll see you all then. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe.